the ability to adapt to changing circumstances is an important asset of successful people. During exceptional periods like the COVID-19 period in 2019-2020, it is very important to adjust to a changing environment. In this series of testimonials and interviews, we try to uncover how people reacted to extreme changes and how they found positive elements in it. These testimonials and interviews are offered to you by the Custer Academy and when you are here for the first time, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so that you will be informed each time when we have a new video uploaded for you. Let's have a look at our guest who we have today. He's a very important person here in the Czech Republic. So let's have a look and I will introduce him to you. Professor Svitek is the former Dean of the Faculty of Transportation Science of the Czech Technical University in Prague and is since 2009 the driving force behind the Czech Smart City development and the president of the Czech Smart City Cluster. And he is considered the main specialist related to smart city development in the Czech Republic and has international fame and recognition. He is also teaching at the University of Texas at El Paso, Texas, United States, of course, and involved in smart city development in South America. He is author of many publications and books and has been interviewed by Czech and international media related to smart city development. But there is more. He is also a renowned musician and part of the duo Professores, where he mainly plays the harmonica. And some of the music we are using in this interview, the background music and the introduction music, is performed by duo Professores. He is also a painter and during the interview, you will see some of his work when it fits to the background. You can learn about him more, of course, when you would contact him through the Czech Smart City Cluster. I'm so honored to have a person yeah. so uh, famous and uh, interesting here as my first interview subject or uh, test case a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we are doing these interviews and it will be very interesting, I hope, for our viewers to learn about uh, who you are and what you can teach them or share with them about getting success in life and personal life and professional life. This is my first interview in the series, How Did I Survive? It's not necessarily about uh, illnesses. It's not necessarily about COVID-19. It's about, in general, when we have challenging circumstances that are in fact having a serious impact on our lives. It's also about how people react to changing circumstances and how successful people can find strengths where others seem to fail. Professor, thank you for being here. Uh, do you have something to add to my introduction? Uh, first. Of all, I would like to thank you for a very kind invitation and for the chance of our discussion and for our cooperation. Thank you very much. So let's go to the first question. Yeah. Let's start with our huh? first question. Um, Professor, when you uh, see many successful people and people look at successful people, it looks so easy. Uh, it looks as if success is so easy, but we know better. We know that success is not always easy. And uh, when we look at it and when, we, when you could look back on your life, what are the three most important events in your life that made you who you are today? You are basically at the basis of your success. So it is really difficult question. I would start from the beginning. I was born in a small village and my parents are not educated and I lived in an uh, agriculture environment and for me it was very difficult to 
move to Prague and study at university and live the life a bit different than all my colleagues and my parents and my relations in my village. So it may be the first obstacle I had to overcome. Second one, I had a lot of uh, hobbies. I played accordion and I uh, studied the uh, Faculty of Electrical Engineering in a Czech Technical University in Prague. And for me, it was very difficult to decide about the future career. And I would like to thank my close colleagues, uh, Professor Miroslav Rček and Professor Peter Moss and Professor Nerkonovák, because they invited me to new Faculty of Transportation Sciences that was created in 1993. And I had the chance to study and to follow new field intelligent transport system. And maybe third obstacle and challenge in my life was smart city. I started uh, in this field 2009 and in that time I was alone and it was not so easy to communicate with my environment on the university and and build a new field. And if I look behind me, now we have a, a study program in smart city, both master and PhD. We have a Czech smart city cluster and this field is really running, but at the beginning it was not so easy. Yeah, I understand. It yeah. uh, looks very nice when the people have it. When yeah. you teach a course in front yeah. of the class, it all looks so easy, but you have to start from scratch. Yeah. It's a hell of a work, it's yeah. not easy. So let's go to the second question. So, Professor, yeah. um, my second question is about your passion about um, smart city. I understood that you build it from scratch, yeah. so it's a little bit your baby. And uh, when you look at it, and we already had a lot of discussions and exchanges of ideas related to this, how important do you think is smart city for the future and for the people and for technology? Yes, I understand from the beginning smart city as an instrument how to increase quality of life of our citizens. We are living in 20 first century and uh, there are a lot of uh, technological possibilities that can be used and our question is how to use all existing technologies to improve uh, management of our our cities especially in uh, the time of uh, critical parts like was uh, COVID-19 but there are also other very difficult situations where smart city instruments could be used. Okay, thank you. Let's go to our third question. Yeah. We all had to undergo some very stringent measures related to the COVID-19 situation. Uh, one of the consequences was that all the course were, courses were cancelled for a professor that's quite mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> stressful eh? when suddenly you cannot teach, you have to teach in a different way. But I also noticed that, for example, people tended to react in different ways. I saw people who were just doing nothing, just taking the situation and then there were other people and I assume that you are part of the second group who took this uh, let's say, situation, the quarantine and the isolation into something positive. So how did you take this situation? How did you turn it into something positive? Yes, uh, for me, it was a nice time for scientific work. I finished a Spanish book and also mathematical English book. And uh, also I used this time to observe reaction of uh, different uh, politicians and uh, different people on this uh, very strange situation. For me it was something like a laboratory that uh, you can learn 
a lot and I was proud by behavior of our people and how they react on this uh, situation and we are a very advanced uh, society. Thank you. Okay, no? Professor, the fourth and last question of our until now for me very interesting interview no? is um, about the situation that we have, the, the COVID-19 situation. How do you look at this and what are the positive messages you can take from this and how will it help us to be more resilient when similar situations would occur? Yes, I, I was uh, happy to see reaction of uh, our people and also reaction of, for example, Czech Technical University because they developed a mask that was 3D <coughs> printed and in uh, our field, uh, smart city, we used in past the technologies to reduce uh, energy consumption or to make our cities more sustainable. But now we understood that the instrument of smart city can be used to increase the resiliency of the city. So for us, it is a big challenge to develop not only smart city, but develop uh, sustainable, resilient uh, smart cities uh, in future. Okay, thank you very much. Thank uh, you. Uh, I thank you very much for this interview. It was very interesting. I hope the people who are watching this video will have the same feeling. They will learn from it and they can see how they can find positive lessons from your experience. Uh, this is, uh, of, in fact, the first video in our series. I will interview other people uh, related to the topic of smart city. You can find links to websites, interesting websites, down in the description of the video. And of course, those of you who are here for the first time, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Click the subscribe button and on the bell so that you will be warned whenever we have a new video. And of course, Professor, thank you again. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to seeing you later. And of course, to the viewers, I'm hoping that I will see you soon or that you will be watching one of our videos very soon. Thank you and bye-bye.